They were Nevada's plays, etched in great detail. This coaching staff does a great job of finding out other teams' actions, the individual tendencies of players. We break down what the other team likes to do. We know the majority of the plays they run, which plays they like the most and what they don't like to do. But at times, it seemed like the Ramblers were a step ahead of the Wolf Pack, all thanks to head coach Porter Moser's dedication to scouting. He's always prepared and he's always getting us prepared. Because of Loyola's extensive scouting, Jackson was told that Nevada's defenders would bite on shot fakes at the rim. He saw it for himself in the first half. He didn't use the fakes and his shot got blocked a few times as he went 1 of 6 from the floor. Jackson adjusted in the second half, went 4 of 5 on shots, and finished the game with 15 points. They were blocking my shots and jumping for everything, so I had to just get my jump fake into it. Jackson said, once I started doing that and making more baskets I got more comfortable and it became a little bit easier for me. Jackson said that when he's on the floor, he'll often notice sets the other team is in. Then he'll picture the posters. Ramblers on the bench will notice too, and they'll call out the plays. Drawing up plays on posters and tacking them around the locker room has been something Loyola has done every game this season, both home and away, says assistant coach Brian Mullins. It's just so our guys can always see something that they might see in the game, Mullins said. It helps them visualize what the opponent is going to do. Moser says he got his scouting tactics from the late Rick Majerus, whom Moser worked for as an assistant at St. Louis from 2007 to 11. Moser said Majerus locker rooms at Utah and St. Louis looked very similar to Loyola's. I think we underestimate the youth on how much they can absorb. Moser said. Some people have that philosophy of, I don't want to give them too much, overload. Our guys embrace it. And in terms of how that locker room looked, it had Rick Majerus all over it. It's great because, if we're going over film, we can just point to the plays, Mullins said. The coaches have bought into it and the guys have really bought into it too. Wherever Loyola has gone this year, its traveling war room has gone with it. Tons of tape on the opponent, and dozens of posters plastered around the locker rooms. Wherever the Ramblers go, information on the opposition is with them. When Loyola faces Kansas State on Saturday, one thing the Ramblers won't be is unprepared. They've already seen all the Wildcats plays, now it's up to the players to use that information and apply it to the floor. We already know everything the other team is going to do, Jackson said. So, it's just up to us to do what we know how to do.